welcome back to my channel! If you are new here, my name is Gugs, and I ponder the subconscious mind and I talk about things that you most likely have thought about in your life but have never really had the chance to talk about, so that is what my channel is all about! In today's video, I'm going to be talking about ordinary life. The life that everyone seemingly kind of has, most people at least, and we don't really like it. I myself am wondering, what is so bad about an ordinary life? I mean, I might get a little deep in this video, just hear me out. I just watched the movie Blonde yesterday and it's a movie on Marilyn Monroe's life. It kind of made me start to appreciate what I have right now and I always have appreciated what I have right now as a human being who is just ordinary, doing what I want, working on myself, not needing to be fake, living life on my own terms. I know that every single human has a tendency or a need to be special. Doesn't mean I'm talking about fame or whatever. I'm also just talking about just being special wherever you go, whether this be in your group of friends, school, if this is at work, bringing something to the table. We have this need as a human species, born and raised as a human being, we have this need. I don't necessarily think that there's something wrong with it because I think if we use it to our advantage, it can actually propel us into our goals and doing things of the worldly manner that will get us to our tangible dreams, our higher self. But what does this look like? Your need to feel special should propel you to excel at whatever goal goal that you have in mind right now. But I feel like because of social media, everyone to a certain extent has a desire to be seen by everyone. And it goes back to the fact that we do not validate ourselves enough. Therefore, we need other people living on this planet and preferably in large numbers to give us that validation that yes, yay, wow, you're great. I'm gonna break it down a little bit in a spiritual sense. I think a person is born due to their past life, past karmas, and this lifetime presents certain challenges that will most likely help them in whatever thing that they got going on. And that's usually how I get through some of my hard days. I just tell myself that, hey, get through this gracefully, learn what you can from this, stay positive, your thoughts are everything, and you'll be fine. This is what you got on the plate, and not everything's under our control. If you look at it in a more spiritual sense, you can understand that being born as a human being being means that you're already good. You're already special. You should already belong because you do. Humans and human society is what kind of complicates this very basic pure energy that is love. That's literally just love at its core because now we're taught that like you need to make something of yourself in society. You need to prove yourself. You need to get prestige, you need to get money because these are all things that we've built and I want to make sure you guys understand that I'm not saying these things are bad, I'm saying these can be used as a good motivating factor to achieve your goals if done so in a healthy manner but very few people are actually able and capable of doing this in a very healthy manner because it's all ego ridden, it's not out of love. So what am I trying to say here? I'm trying to say that living an ordinary life is already special. You don't need to be proving yourself to everyone. You're already seen by everything. The trees see you, the nature sees you, you should see yourself, your close people in your life see you. When you start to do this, which is essentially just another way of describing self-love, you will notice that your manifestations come true. Opportunities randomly open up, there's all these things that happen in physical human reality. It's simply because now you are no longer acting from a desperate stance point and this is so important and no one talks about this. When you get your internals all fixed up and there is no such thing as being fully fixed that doesn't exist because we're not broken but anyways when you work on yourself your energy expands you'll see babe you will see everything falls into place now is this easy no when we do live in an ordinary life we have all these expectations and shit and i understand those expectations always go for the next thing always get a bigger paycheck get a bigger house get a bigger car an ordinary life is an opportunity that we've been given from divine to actually get quiet and work on ourselves, on our souls, on our paths. Whatever the reason that we came here for, we're all embarking on the same journey, but it looks different for everyone because everyone's situations in this lifetime are different from childhood all the way to upbringing. These are all things and obstacles in our way, but I wanna assure you guys that living the ordinary life gives you the chance 
to learn and experience things and that's what the point is of this whole human journey. Now I'm gonna take it a little bit more practical. An ordinary life means that you can actually plan the trajectory of your life and you have the capability of, to do that. If you want to change your ordinary life and do something great with it to feel special, make sure it's coming from within. Don't just do it for the sake of see, being seen as special from the mass. It doesn't make sense to do that. Every single one of us has this in us and it's there. You should use it to propel you positively, but a lot of people don't, right? They go kind of into the deep end. As long as you have the, your internal purpose and the only person that you're trying to get validation from is yourself, you'll be absolutely fine. Think back to like 10 years ago. Just realize that where you're sitting or where you are right now, the kid version of you would be fucking out the roof so happy. What? This happened? I could never imagine. Reel it back and be grateful for that. And guess what? The version of you sitting right the fuck now, trying to get whatever goals you got going on, that version of you right now, in 20 years, is also gonna look back and be like, damn, you know, the ordinary life is great. That's all I wanted to say. I'm glad that I was able to make this video without my battery dying. It's literally been flashing on the fucking screen, but I feel like that also happened for a reason because it really forced me to have very focused thoughts. Maybe this video is gonna be a little bit shorter. I don't know. I hope you guys got something out of this video. Now I'm gonna go look at cats. I've been trying to adopt a cat for an extremely long time and I really hope I get this cat. Fingers fucking crossed. Thanks guys for watching. I will see you guys next video.